Old Endings might be the new primary DPS meta. This gun is just like Warden's Law, a heavy burst hand cannon, meaning it shoots two bullets. And from previous testing, this archetype is the best archetype for like pants, aside from maybe Witherhorde and Malfeasance combo. However, that changes today because this gun might actually be even stronger than Malfeasance and Witherhorde. I haven't seen any video about this yet, so I've taken it upon my hands to craft this weapon and fully enhance it. At first it wasn't desperate measures, at first I tried Golden Tricorn, which is a whopping 50% buff in damage. However, it did not work out because when you swap the weapon, the buff goes away and for Lucky Pants to work, you need to swap weapons. So yeah, that was very disappointing. However, we have Desperate Measures, which is still stronger than Vorpal, which is by the way what all people use on Warden's Law. So in terms of damage buff, Bold Endings is greater. And if you're wondering just like how to proc it, because you would say like maybe the prepping is too much that it's not even worth it. But if you're in a hunter, which if you're using like pants, you definitely are using a hunter. Let me show you just what you need to do to get the perk. One, punch. Two, punch. You have the buff. That's it. That's literally it. You don't even need a single kill on the gun. And after testing on Shirochi, which by the way, the numbers are kind of weird there. So just don't fully rely on them. But yeah, it does more damage than Warden's Law. And yeah, you do need at least two minions in order to proc this perk. And yes, if you get in a situation where you cannot find any minions just let me give you just like one advice and yeah this is literally all you need to do for like that specific moment you don't need to always be using bold endings you can switch off to warden's law because base damage without the perk yeah of course warden's law is better than bold endings but if you do get the perk to run that is when everything changes i want to do just like a little happy test i know the boss here is probably not the best in terms of like just overall trying a broken gun on a lost sector but i see everyone <laughs> absolutely destroying this a specific boss so why not 27,000 let's see desperate measures I don't know if you saw it but it's actually kind of weird to be honest I don't know what the fuck happened there for some reason even though the buff was not done yet it went from 34,000 to 27,000 not sure what the fuck happened but let me try it again yup okay now it fucking works I don't know what the fuck happened I tried it twice and it just didn't want to work the difference between 27,000 and 34,000 is quite huge, actually. I'm not a math guy, but I know that's big. <laughs> this is probably not the best damage testing you can find, but I'm pretty sure once people start finding out about this roll, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And let me just show you. This gun is absolutely crazy. It, you can get 28 bullets in the mag. Bro, 28. This is a hand cannon, by the way. <laughs> I thought Malfeasance had a lot. Ho hell, I thought Warden's Law had a lot. Wait, it's literally just like Malfeasance. Since when Malfeasance was just 19? I'm pretty sure it's 20. It's not 19. What the fuck? Yep, it is 20. What the fuck, game? Greatly increases magazine size. Is it because of this? Then why the fuck is it not translating well... On the stats of the weapon anyway bold endings really really cool all you need is just two kills that's it two melee kills and if you're running a prismatic hunter you probably are running the threaded specter winter's shroud build with combination blow so yeah every 10 seconds you can burst out even more damage than warden's law and maybe maybe even more damage than two people one running malfeasance and the other running witherhort 
I haven't tested it yet because I have no one to test this with, but I'm pretty sure someone like Asikros could test it on Templar. You know, Eror, if that's how you pronounce his name, should probably have an eye for this weapon. By the way, you get this from the ghost in the Pale Heart and just like doing Pale Heart stuff in general. Hopefully this has opened some hunter eyes to do even more damage than we already do. And by the way, this being on kinetic also means you can just do this. So yeah, and you can always just like do this or have like a whole uh, load out for it and yeah of course you can also use the cascade envious trick to even make every boss's life even more miserable and yep that's about it go grind